Hello, hope you're doing good. In this video, I will be showing you how to add portfolio to Wix website. The first thing you want to do once on your Wix editor page, you are going to go over to the left hand menu option and you are going to select pages and menu. After selecting pages and menu, which is the third icon from the top left hand corner, you are going to tap on add pages. After selecting add pages, I want you to go down to the bottom left hand corner and you are going to tap on dynamic pages. After selecting dynamic pages, you can see the different options right here. And all I want you to do now is scroll down and right where you see portfolio, you're going to tap on add pages. After tapping on add pages, you're going to give it a few seconds while the page is being created. Once the portfolio page has been created, you will now be able to upload your different form of work and you will be able to edit the portfolio section on your Wix website. So you can see that it is loading up right there. It is normally loaded up quite quickly as you can see right here. Once it is finished, you will be redirected to a new page as you can see right here. So now all you will need to do to set up your portfolio page, you can tap right here on the X to close this. Then from here, you can see a small snippet of how they look, as you can see right here. And to edit them or to add more items, all you'll need to do is tap on Add Item in the top right-hand corner right here. After you have tapped on Add Item, you'll be able to add the title, description, year, and you can scroll down and you can add images, as you can see right there. Once you're finished doing this, you'll simply tap on Save to save the changes. And also, if you would like to delete the previously added ones, all you'll need to do is simply tap on the box that says Select All. So you're going to tap on Select All. Then from there, you would tap on Delete. And that's how you would delete the previously loaded portfolio images or projects, as you can see right there. And that's it. Hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative. If you did, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe.